Hi everyone, it's me, Moonlight Guidance. I hope you're doing well. Uh, this is a safe space where you're always very welcome and I'm going to be doing a reading for you to see what's coming through. And if you are here, I feel like there are messages you are meant to hear. So we will take a look and see exactly what's coming through and what I can tell you. So let's do exactly that and let's have a look, all right? So let's see. Okay, so we've got the ace of wands with the four of wands and also the queen of pentacles hello you felt and have felt and are very much feeling hopeful towards a person here romantically the king uh, sorry the knight of cups with the six of cups here really shows a lot of sort of like hope and joy of this person emotionally expressing themselves to you, coming forward towards you, telling you, you know, their feelings. The Queen of Pentacles here shows that for now you're sort of holding your horses, but intuitively you feel like this person's going to come in. They're going to tell you that they love you, they care about you, um, or at least that they're going to, you know, progress things with you a lot more first and sort of take you out or have conversations with you and, you know, really build up the bond and the connection with you. And you're very much hopeful that you are going to settle down. You are going to have a lot of love and happiness and joy. And this is marriage. And that there's going to be a lot of intimacy, chemistry, passion, connection, affection between you both. That's your intuition, okay? Right now, you're feeling very, very hopeful about your love life. That you know what, Moonlight? It's going to happen. And I do refer to myself as Moonlight because my real name actually means moon Moonlight. So <laughs> there is that. My real name is actually Tantni and it means Moonlight. So... When I say moonlight, I mean moonlight, okay? Um, so, I feel like you're going to be like, hey, moonlight, so basically, um, I really feel like this person, you know, is, is going to come in, they are going to progress things with me, I know I'm going to get married, I know I'm going to have a beautiful, healthy, happy relationship, I just know it's going to happen. There's a real sort of spring in your step and confidence that you feel in regards to this, which is really uplifting, it's very... Um, it's giving, okay? It's, it's giving life. Like you will literally feel very, very lively. And you know this, okay? Your, your intuition is, is on fire, basically. Long story short, your intuition is on fire here. Um, so this person has been very, very slow towards you. I see that with the hermit. Yeah, they've been super, super slow and you have... Sometimes just kind of felt like, is it going to happen? Is it not? But then you always just find that light again, you know, to realize like, no, it will happen. And then the six of pentacles really does show that it will happen. Okay. Ace of pentacles also shows that this person will come to you by themselves when they are ready. Six of pentacles shows a mutual conversation taking place. And it comes again from their side when they are ready and they will be emotionally much more accepting and expressing towards you. This is water energy. This is emotion, right? So I see here that they will just naturally come in as you have anticipated for them to do so. And the King of Cups shows them expressing their feelings to you, progressing things with you, telling you how much they appreciate you, but also telling you that they don't want to lose you because you literally got the lovers. I mean, the cards are literally saying what I'm saying. So I feel like that's just such a good sign, shows you how I work as a reader, shows you, you know, everything that you need to see with your eyes to kind of be able to understand the reading as well. But here you go, you know, I really feel here that they don't want to lose you. To them, you are perfect. To them, they don't want to change you. They see you as this incredibly kind and sweet and caring person. They appreciate you very wholeheartedly. They like you a lot. They appreciate you a lot. And they don't want to ruin anything. Like they really have feelings and their feelings are very strong and they really appreciate you so much. They really do. Like this person likes you and appreciates you beyond like anything that they've ever sort of thought before. Like they really appreciate you so much. And also with the, um, the uh, high priestess, we have here such a strong energy of them respecting you wholeheartedly for like the things that you believe in. So your faith, um, if you are religious, they will, you know, really respect that a lot, respecting your boundaries, respecting the fact that you can be sometimes emotional or have a lot of empathy, or sometimes you may overthink things a lot, but they will realize that, you know, that's who you are and they will accept you for who you are because to, to them, you are perfect, you know, and that's what I see here as well. And I really just feel that, you know, this person has been a little slow. 
which is why you've been anticipating and thinking a lot about things and sort of getting a little bit sort of like frustrated that they're not really doing too much. So you will feel kind of you know, frustrated that, ah, oh, they took so much time, especially with the Four of Pentacles. But you will also think to yourself as well that, you know what, like it was a thing. It had to sort of happen in that way. And you will think to yourself, you know what, like, yes, okay. They took their time, but I knew that they were going to do more and then they do more. And that will give you that clarity to realize like, okay, you know what, they needed to do more and here they are now. So the Knight of Wands definitely shows a very, very powerful energy here, which is also very much connected to them pursuing things with you, being proactive. And also I feel like an apology is also definitely going to come your way because I feel here in so many ways that they will be very, very sorry for the amount of time that they have taken see that here with the six of swords i do feel like there is some emotional connection to that as well they will feel so sorry that they had to take time to kind of figure out other areas of their life in order to be finally more proactive towards you especially with the eight of wands you know they will think to themselves like i really needed to like get my life together i needed to do this i needed to do that but really with the five of cups they will feel like okay you know i got myself together i feel stronger i feel better now i'm okay now but they will feel bad. They really will that, you know, they should have done things a lot sooner. They should have done things more consistently. They should have done things at a more rapid pace, but they will also think to themselves, I couldn't at the time. I had some other things that I needed to sort out in my personal life. And if I didn't sort those things out, then I wouldn't have maybe even been able to do this much right now. So it's one of those things where, you know, they don't want to lose you. Yeah, definitely don't want to lose you again. You know what I mean? So, um, and they will be very, very sorry for the amount of time it's taken. They will be very apologetic about it. And they will also express, explain, I was going to say explain and express at the same time. There's a new word in our dictionary, which is called explain. <laughs> they will basically explain to you and express to you just how much you mean to them and how much they hold you so close to their chest and how they feel so connected to you and so drawn to you that they don't want to be around anyone else you know what I mean like they don't want to they don't they don't they want you okay and they will feel very very bad and they will feel like you know maybe you know you probably might think that oh they've you know been deceiving me and things like that but truthfully they've been trying to get their life sort of together and not sort of keep you at arm's length and still you know um oh, what's the word you know basically this is kind of what's been going on but they have been it's almost like they've created enough distance where you kind of know that, okay, they're not doing enough, but they're still kind of around. But at the same time, they're, they're not like chasing and pursuing you, right? So they feel like that was right for them to do because in many ways, if they did more towards you, then you would have more of an expectation. But instead of doing more, they did less so that you would kind of know that they have other things to figure out. But they know that in your eyes, you probably see them as this, okay? So they do feel quite bad. They, they know that, but... At the same time, you might even feel like that's what they're doing. But deep down, you feel like, no, they've got other things that they're trying to just kind of figure out as well. So they will absolutely feel, you know, terrible and very frustrated. And there's so many swords here as well of them just not feeling good about how they have been sort of treating you and the things that have been going on. But we're going to see some message cards and see what comes out. Um, but this is what we have. But the main thing is that they're going to come to you, right? They've had things that they needed to figure out and they will definitely apologize to you. The other thing as well that I really wanted to mention as well that is that I do, of course, have, you know, personal readings on my um, um personal readings on my website which is shopmoonlightguidance.com if you ever wanted any personal readings with me there's also intention items that are handmade meditated with and sage like bracelets necklaces anklets pom-poms tassels candles sage bundles and so much more and there's also of course as well there is the um rituals as well for like love money marriage career attraction success um black magic removal protection ritual beauty justice and of course there's so many different ones for love as well like lots of different ones including the consistency and support ritual which can allow your person to be consistent and supportive towards you and um there's yeah everything is always listed down below for your convenience so it's always listed down there so let's have a look at your message cards oh hello We've got here, honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. This person is going to want to take you on a holiday, okay? Or let's say, for example, if you are due a honeymoon with this person, then a honeymoon is going to happen. But many of you, this is them taking you on a very romantic holiday, 
okay and that is what i am seeing here is that they will want to take you on a holiday or a little vacation which is going to make you feel really really happy so that is what we see here what a way to end off the reading right so if this resonates with you comment down below let me know how it resonates with you um if you claim it don't forget to like and subscribe and claim the reading and comment down below and also i have tiktok and instagram on um which is linked down below moonlight.guidance on instagram moonlight guidance on tiktok i post short readings on there every day feel free to follow me on there if you wanted to and i'll see you all very soon